Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Top NBA. If there's one way to make a fashion statement on the court, it's to have some awesome shoes. Granted, it's the only way they're allowed to make fashion statements in the league today, but it's still pretty cool. That being said, there are plenty of shoes that the NBA will not let slide when players go out on the court. It's kind of weird to think about, what could be wrong with any specific type of shoe? I mean, as long as there's not buzz saws protruding from the shoelaces, I can't see many ways why any sort of shoe would be banned in the NBA, but whatever. My classic saying that I think about when this stuff happens is, I don't make the rules. And you know what? It's none of my business, but these rules are sometimes pretty dumb. Today, we're going to talk about some shoes that are banned in the NBA. Shoes that, whether they should have been out or not, are not allowed to be worn by NBA players. Ugh, I still can't get over a few of these, but alright, here we go. Oh wait, before we start, I gotta do my plug. I'll make it quick, I promise. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and ring that notification bell. But don't just ring it, make sure you set it to all, so that every time we come out with a new video, you'll get that notification in your inbox. You did it? Alright, cool. Now we can get into it. Without further ado, let's get started. First up, the APLs. These guys are going to be some of the dumbest bands on this list. The guys over at Athletic Propulsion Labs did their thing making shoes and came out with a pair they said would increase your vertical jump height. I already think something smells funny here. And guess what? It's not just an increase. They claimed it would pretty much automatically increase by 3.5 inches. Using their load and launch technology, they claim that the springs contained in the bottom of the shoe would athletically propel you up three and a half inches more. Sounds like a load of crap to me, but whatever, marketers are gonna market. Anyway, the NBA was not a fan of what these shoes marketed themselves to be when they were released. Of course, not everybody was sold on whether these shoes actually worked or not, but that didn't really stop the NBA. Of course, without doing any testing or anything, the NBA decided that these shoes would give a quote-unquote unfair advantage to those who attempted to jump that much higher with them. And in conclusion, the NBA decided that a pretty perfectly normal pair of shoes was not allowed to be used in the NBA because of some well-done marketing and technology that was shaky at best. That wasn't a smart one, NBA, but I get it somewhat. Either way, I don't make the rules. Second are the Jordan Mello M10s. This is another good one, interesting and actually makes a little bit of sense. Here we go. These are a pretty sick pair of shoes with white, blue, and orange throughout. They're a Carmelo Anthony themed pair of shoes, which is pretty sick in and of itself, but there's also something pretty unique about this pair of shoes. There's a little tiny bit of chrome right at the heel of the shoe. Ordinarily, this wouldn't be a big deal. I think it's pretty awesome, to be quite honest with you. That being said, the NBA was concerned about what would happen if these shoes were put in circulation by the league. They said that the shoes could pose a threat to the players by the way that they were designed. This isn't a terrible assessment, as a little bit of chrome to the face isn't going to feel great. Imagine you were the one on the receiving end of an accidental kick when a guy jumps for a ball or something loose along those lines. Doesn't matter how you think about it, it's a big ouch to get smacked with some metal to the face. And also, the reason that the league banned the pair isn't even that. It's really because those who wore it, if it fell off of them, it could reflect the light into the player's eyes and make them unable to see, and thus more likely to hit other players. We get it, light is a pretty solid distraction, and you wouldn't want anybody to use it to their advantage, whether accidentally or on purpose. Regardless, it's a legit reason in this one. Good on you, NBA. I'll let this one slide, I suppose. And here are a pair of Curry 4s that got banned but gives a pretty dumb set of reasons. Steph Curry is a ridiculously good basketball player and a great guy, too. He seems like a rules follower to me, not that I know him personally, but I mean, just listen to the guy talk. But the reality is that he's made a couple of mistakes in his time that might have gotten him fined for wearing shoes that aren't regulation in one way or another. This time, it was one of his sets of shoes that got him into hot water for a couple of reasons. Let me set the stage for you a little bit. It's a cold January night, and Steph Curry sitting in his room, thinking, and boom. An idea comes into Curry's mind to have a shoe with his Under Armour branding that has a little bit of flair for Chinese New Year. And you come up with a concept for a bomb shoe that you think is going to catch on both with the fans and throughout the league. Then, a little bit later, the NBA crushes that dream and has a whole host of reasons why. First off, Nike pressures them to make this decision. Curry's jersey is featured on the Under Armour branded shirt, which is a Nike jersey. Big no-no. 
and also you technically had to have team colored shoes at the time, and they weren't his colors. Second no-no. These are ridiculous rules. Ugh, why does everything have to be so complicated? You know what? No. I don't make the rules, and I don't wanna. We're done, we're done here, video's over. Well guys, that's gonna do it for today's video, so thank you all so much for watching. Which rule did you guys think was the most ridiculous? I mean, personally, I'd probably have to go with the curry shoes just because it's color. I mean, we're talking about not something that's on the shoe, it's not spinning out chainsaws, it's not throwing fire at you, it is a color on the rainbow put on a shoe. And they're saying that you can't have, I don't know, man. Like I said, I don't make the rules, but go ahead and leave all your opinions in the comment section down below. We'd love to hear them. Also, be sure to leave this video with a like and subscribe to the channel for more content just like this. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next one.